Marcel, is this on? You see, Becky, I know exactly what's happening. You're jealous. Jealous, I said. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of What's Wrong With Wrestling. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with my brother, Joe Pisano. Hey, did you see on SmackDown this week, there was a, there was a shark, and, and they jumped it. Oh, yes. Yes, they did. Yes, Yes, they did. (laughs) It's over. The bloodline has officially ended. It's over. It's been a long run. It's been, it was the dumbest excuse they could have possibly done. When when Jay couldn't beat Roman, were they like, we have no idea how to let Roman just win this? Right. That's not interesting. Like, that's interesting. Well, he always cheats. Yeah. Like, what's wrong with just Solo doing it? Yeah, well, they always like to do some sort of... I mean, every every Roman title match on a pay-per-view has had some big moment. Yeah, true. So if Solo just helps him win, it's not really a big deal. I mean, I guess that's what they did at Mania. Yeah. So they just they didn't want to keep repeating themselves. And they're like, well, we got to keep trying to top it. And this was their way to do that. And yeah, it just didn't hit. It just... And it's just because it's been going on for too long. I mean, this is right. one of the longest storylines in the history of wrestling. It's a long, it's been a long time. It's been a very long, very like, long time. Like when it's like in terms of consistency and like how they really don't take breaks. Okay, fine. Roman leaves, but the rest of them fill in. Yeah. The bloodline keep, you know, like even Sean and Triple H who feuded for years, but they would take breaks. Right. You know, they sure. would, they would feud, then they would leave each other alone, then they would feud again for a little bit, but. <clears throat> what's what's a storyline that has lasted over three years? Yeah, I know. Can you name one? Uh, no, no. And, you know, eventually, I guess everyone, they're trying to make it so that everyone turns on someone. Yeah. Every time. Like I, guess, just, I guess evolution was like two years. Yeah, and then they came back. But that's not a storyline. That's a, that's a stable. Yeah. You can be around for two years as a stable. This was a storyline. About the crumbling of a stable. Okay, well, then the crumbling of the stable's been this whole year, I guess. It started uh, with yeah, but Sammy. There was cracks in the armor. The reason right. why this is a storyline and not a stable, a stable is that Sammy joined. Then it created a storyline. Okay, why is a non oos in this group? Well, I'm just like with Evolution, they did the same thing for years. You know, they would have... They would, uh, have hints that someone was going to get kicked out and then Randy Orton yeah. got kicked out. and then, That's true. And then Batista turned on them. You know what I mean? I don't even think that was a year and a half. Because their whole, like when, when you look up evolution, like on yeah. Wiki, like the whole thing is only two years. You know what I mean? Right. So, it was 03 to 05. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like a year and then Orton was, you know, yeah. kicked out, thumbs right. down. Right. Then the next year was Batista, thumbs down, you know. WrestleMania, yeah. So yeah, I mean that's you know that's what you could compare it to, I guess. But I know DX DX only lasted a couple of years as well. But yeah, I mean that's you know that's this is just but but th- that a- wasn't you know Triple H did have the belt for many years, but he oh, would yeah. lose it. He right. lost it a couple times. Right. Whereas Roman's beaten everyone, and now he only wrestles once every few months because they've literally run out of people for him to face. Sure. Is, is there a good out, out ending or outcome of this, what Jimmy said? Could there be some double swerve or something where no. they can clean this up? No. Yeah, I don't think so either. No, I don't think so. It was just dumb. How, cause the, how can the writers not go, unless this is just another Vince override? Yeah. Where he's like, nope, this is what we're going to do. And then they're just like, okay, well, that's dumb. Like Jimmy and Jay versus Roman, like that's been the thing that the last 60 days or so. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why would Jimmy then? Uh, it just doesn't make sense. I just don't know how much pull Roman Reigns has with this title if he gets to choose who takes it from him. Yeah. You know. Right. Because we've you know we've we've heard about this over the years. Mm-hmm. Hogan wouldn't drop it to Brett, so he dropped it to Yokozuna. <laughs> Bret Hart refused to drop it to Shawn Michaels, so they had to screw him. Shawn Michaels refused to drop it to Brett, so he he lost his smile. It, you know? it, yeah. I don't think Roman has a that kind of pull, and B I don't think it's there's the those show. kind of egos in wrestling anymore. Like in other words, I think it's very clear we write the show, you act in the show. Because back then you could say know. the person was carrying it on their back. Hogan for sure. Yeah, but Roman is. 
I just think why that, are they this it's popular? It's the old school. It's the old school way of thinking that like I'm bigger than the show, so I get to control. Roman things. Reigns. I don't think Vince worry about Roman that Reigns anymore. left for COVID. He was still the lame baby face. Yeah, he came back as a heel. Mm-hmm. And even at the time, I was like, this has to be all Roman because Vince would never do this. And then Paul Heyman said that, yeah, it was Roman's idea to become a heel. So he was like, look, if you want me back, I'll come back as a heel. And then we heard the rumors that this this reign will end when Roman and Paul Heyman say it that. ends. Yeah, we have you know, Yeah, that. that could all be bullshit, right? But I think he's got... He certainly has more pull than anyone else because he is their top star. Why wouldn't he put his cousin over then? In real life, why wouldn't he go? You know what? This story's about Jay. Let Jay go over. Well, you have to have an ego to be the main guy, right? In real, I guess. I, I don't. I don't think they have that kind of pull. That being said, who the fuck knows, man? Who knows? Yeah, maybe. Did you see the other thing that happened? I couldn't believe it. What? Well, I knew it used to be like. What was it? Uh, NC. What was the TV thirteen? It means they could do more NC stuff. NC seventeen. Or? Well, no, no, no. But like, what did they do? Oh, in the TV, attitude era? TV MA. MA or yeah, TV yeah. fourteen. I TV guess 14. they're back to that. Because I, I've never seen two guys suck each other off in the ring <laughs> that like Edge and Sheamus did yes. during their segment. Yeah, it, it was so egregious. Yeah, I had to was. look away. I was like, this was, is too yeah. much for me. It was interesting. It was a lot. It was I a think, lot. I think they're reforming the bar. What? No Cesaro. Uh, yeah, it was just constant. There is some. Oh my god! There's some interesting uh, news on that later okay. slash rumors that yeah. we'll get to. All right. So yeah, a uh, lot to talk about Raw and SmackDown. Mm. But first, we have to thank some new patrons. All right. So thank you to Kayla Scott, oh Carlos okay. Duran, mm. Jake Goldstein, Pinhead Larry, good old Pinhead, Poker and Dickerson. Poker and Dickerson. Poker. Poker. Poker and Dick. I don't get Dickerson. it. Yeah, I don't know. Poker and Dicker? Maybe. Dickerson, though? I don't know. Dick her son. I was hoping you. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Poker and then Dick her son down. Poker and Dickers. Yeah, maybe they could clarify next week. <laughs> and then we also have uh, three people that did year subs. Go. So thank you to Vic Drummer, <laughs> Jesse Clement. <laughs> And David Shrank. The Shrank? Yes. Shrank coming into the year. Year subs. Nice. You want to really show us that you're committed to us? Yeah. Do a year sub. Boom. You know, we love them even more. Sure. <laughs> sure. So, if you want to join them, go to patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. We got bonus pods. Uh, we got the uh, AEW podcast every single week. We've got so many brackets now. I can't even count that high. Uh, we have got all the pay-per-view recaps, SummerSlam, Payback's coming up soon. So, yeah. Go sign lots, up now. Lots, lots, Go give it a there. try. Patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. There you go. All right. So, SmackDown opens with Asuka versus Charlotte just Flair. Give me something. Yeah, right. Sure. Well, I'm just, come on. Oh, you know, we've, we've seen it a lot. Uh, Charlotte wanted to leave as champion, and Asuka wanted to leave as champion. This, and neither one did. And so, let's fight each other this, where we know there's not going to be an outcome to this match. This match ended in the best way possible, I feel. Yeah. Because I'm so sick of Asuka and Charlotte fighting each other. Yeah. That damage control comes out and just beats up everyone. Well, you knew neither one of them could lose. Right. Asuka's too crazy right now, and Charlotte's yeah. Charlotte. Yeah. I put my whole house on a uh, you know, a non-winner, and I got a dollar. Oh, wow. Just kidding. I, they didn't pay me, because they're like, it's, we knew. Yeah. yeah so was- Bailey <laughs> hopped on the apron to distract Charlotte, and EO Sky hit Flair and Asuka with her springboard drop kick. Yeah. And then EO and Bailey lay out Asuka and Charlotte. Dakota Kai was there, but she's still not cleared. So she just grabbed a mic and said, give it up for your new <laughs> women's champion, EO Sky. Right. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, that's fine. I didn't want, really, really want to see this match anyway. And I, lo- I love EO Sky. I love that she's the champion. It's the one bright thing in this but show as, right now. As the champion, do you come out to where the lay people are wrestling and knock them all out? Yeah, just to sh- you know, whip your dick out. Just and to make it interesting. Just to show how big your cock is. And sh- is she still a heel? Yeah. She's a little, yeah. Well, obvi- look, it's just like every stable, right? Yeah. Bailey's going to get jealous and turn on her. Right. I mean, that's the way to go, I think. You make Eo Sky the baby face. I think so. You know? Yeah. 
uh, because, she, you know, it's not like, yeah, I, that's the way to go. Everyone loves EO anyway. They always loved EO. Yeah, for sure. So mm-hmm. I love her as the champion. Yep. So at least there's that. Next up, we have AJ Styles versus Karrion Cross. You know who wants to see this match again? Nobody! Yeah. No. Especially Cross, because, man, what the fuck? Was he doing Styles? He had no idea what was going on in that no. move. That I guess combination. he's never watched an AJ Styles match. I thought he was going to tuck his chin and be paralyzed at one point. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh my god! Oh my god! They were both was was Cross and TNA at the same time. I'm not sure. I would mm. imagine he was because he's been around for a while. But they've yeah. had to have wrestled in TNA. Maybe right. I'm wrong. But Styles went for his backflip off the ropes, which he turns into like the reverse DDT, like the Scorpion Death Drop. Yeah, yeah. and Cross. I guess Cross didn't know what he was doing. I thought he was, I thought Cross thought he was trying to do a Styles clash because then when he kind of lifted him up, like Cross threw his legs up. So I thought, but like, when he, when, when he moonsaulted off the second rope? Yeah, I thought Cross was like, okay, Styles yeah. clash. And he's like, no, no, this is my Scorpion Death thing right. or whatever. And drop. And he's like, oh. And then he's like, all right, let's try it again. And then cross again, like it looked like he tried to flip yeah. up on him. And then finally, AJ was like, "Get down!" He's like, "Damn boy, <laughs> fucking idiot!" <laughs> and then uh, Styles had a springboard 450 splash, went for the pin, but Scarlet put Cross's leg on the bottom rope. Yeah, Meechin goes oh. after her. Yeah, but Scarlet beats her up. You are worthless, Meechin. Well, yeah. Scarlet's not even a wrestler. For now, right? Yeah. By the way, like Meechin coming out with AJ, and and sh- and she does. His entrance with him. Oh, oh my God. I hated it. Yeah. Hated it. Uh, again, one day they were like, hey, and you know what? This is Meechin. And she's like, hey. Yeah. That was it. Why did they get her? No. No. Because there they was were... a match with a, they had a, they were feuding with another stable that had a woman. Yeah. So they needed a woman. I don't remember. <laughs> Who was it? There's not many stables in WWE. It's probably was it a stable Judgment Day. That it was Judgment Day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Right. I was thought of what stable has one girl in it. <laughs> Judgment exactly. Day. Yeah. Uh, so we need a girl. And the brothers. Uh, what are they called? The Good Brothers. The Good Brothers are like. Yeah. yeah. But is, God, they're just is all this, worthless. Is this all you could find? Cross goes for the cross hammer, but AJ ducks. Then AJ sets up for Styles Clash, but Scarlet hops on the apron. But then Meechin pulls Scarlet down and throws her over the announce table. And I was actually surprised that the bump Scarlet took. She went over the table hard. Well, Meechin fucked up, right? We know this. We've wrestled. If I'm going to throw you out of the ring, I touch you here. Yeah. And I run and let you do everything. Yeah. Meechin fucking threw her ass and she didn't jump. So like her knees kind of hit the table and <laughs> yeah. then she flew over. I was like, ouch. Uh-huh. Like you got to let her jump. So that she can protect herself. Oh, Scarlet doesn't, you know. Meechin's like, fuck no. Well, between the two Scarlet's of them. Scarlet's not a wrestler. And, but between the two of them, yeah. I don't think there was any safety happening there. So all. AJ wins with the Styles Clash. Yeah. He gets his win back. I guess. So what is it? 1-1 one, one or 2-1? <sighs> oh, no. It's uh, who gives a shit. Exactly. Right there. Yeah. And I still don't know why, why AJ Styles doesn't have marquee matches on pay-per-views. I, neither do I. It's been years like years since he's even been on a pay-per-view since he's main event at a pay-per-view yeah he, he's not even in any title he pay-per-view. fought edge at wrestlemania in 2021 yep okay yes that was two years ago okay what was his match this year was he injured uh, at wrestlemania uh, i think he was yes, out for a while he was out mm-hmm uh, and then, you know, even before that, he was with Omos. It's just like, what are we doing here? What he's available, right? Like, he's got to be Roman's next opponent if it's not solo or something. Like, he's, on, he's you know what I mean? On yeah. If it's on SmackDown. Right. Like, that'll at least be a good match. Yeah. Unless they just do Bloodline Survivor Series or some shit. Right. We'll see. We shall see. Next up. You think you know me. Uh, Edge makes his big return. He tells the Calgary crowd, it's been way too long since we've seen each other. When you say big return, like if you just only show up five times a year, I guess every time is a return. Yes. (laughs) Well, Edge has had more returns than anyone in the history of pro wrestling. I mean, (laughs) that's right. 
Uh, Shocking so, returns. Yeah. He says he wants to have a match in Toronto next week against a man he's never faced before. Here we go. Here we go. And it is... Seamus. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, everyone else loves Seamus. So yeah. we're the idiots. I guess. So Ed says uh, Seamus is the reason why I'm back in this ring. He tells a story of crashing on his mountain bike while filming for Seamus' YouTube show. Mm, and yep. that's when Edge realized he can wrestle again. He also said Edge... Uh, he also said Seamus briefly stayed with him to help him uh, train to get back. So Seamus walks out with Butch and Riz Ho Ridge Holland. I don't know why they came out with him because they did nothing. But that, Felt completely unnecessary for buddies. those two guys to be there. Well, you know, unless you're just going to jump edge. The brawling brutes. Uh, okay. It took away from it a little bit. Yeah. So there. Seamus plays the footage of Edge crashing and he popped right back up as if nothing happened. And that was Edge's point. Like. He was like, oh, I'm fine. Maybe I can wrestle again. I guess. And Edge is like, oh, come on. You got to show my pale white butt because Seamus was showing the injuries. <laughs> and then Seamus is like, well, you've shown a lot more on TV. And Edge is like, touche. And then Edge throws up a picture of Seamus sitting on his daughter's bicycle with the helmet on and everything. And then Seamus puts over Edge for mentoring him when he first arrived in WWE, saying, you know, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be here. And it's like, fuck. So it's Edge's fault? <laughs> we gotta blame I'm him. I'm DMing you right now, Edge. Yeah, right. You'll be hearing from me. Yeah. Oh, I'm blocked now. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Well, if you say something negative about Seamus, you probably will be. <laughs> Maybe. I love this guy. <laughs> Thank God he hasn't he hasn't heard. Yeah. Uh so yeah, Seamus agrees to the match for next week, but he tells Edge, I hope you didn't make a mistake. And that was like the one little uh, uh, the one little moment of tension. Seamus? Okay. And then So here's the thing. Yeah. Dave Meltzer is reporting that this is going to be Edge's last match. Meltzer. And you know what? He's right like 49% of the time. Yeah. So. Flip a coin. Yeah. Well, here here's the other thing. Uh, Meltzer said Edge's trainer, Ron Hutchinson, also said it'll be his last match. And if you remember last year, Edge told a Toronto crowd, we usually come here in August. So next August, I plan on seeing each and every one of you. And in a perfect world, we all say goodbye to each other that night. So why not WrestleMania if he knew like a few months ago? Why not? Because you're not going to be in Toronto. He wants to have his last match in Toronto. And I guess he wants to have his last match with a guy that helped him come back and also a guy he never wrestled before. So does Seamus pin him? Or, 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 or what if it's all a work? To do what? What if Edge wins with a roll-up? Yeah. And then Sheamus snaps, and then him and the brawling brutes beat the hell out of Edge mm. on SmackDown. Oh, no. And then... And, you know, it starts a new they feud. They all feud for three months? It starts a feud, yeah. Uh, Look, Sheamus has had good matches with the right people. If it is his Edge last match... Edge is one match, of the best. If it is his last match, who goes over? Sheamus. Edge is an old-school guy. Hmm. Yeah. I think, you know what I mean? Seamus retires it. Okay. Then why didn't they make it bigger? So they, they, that's know, the best way to do it. All the reports were saying that Ed just wants to do like the Stone Cold thing where you didn't really know it was. Although I bet he'll he'll probably say it. You think you know me. Yeah. You don't. I think if he does lose and if it is his last, then he'll, he'll at least say it on the show or something. But <clears throat> we'll I see. Yes. I, I mean, I'd rather Seamus be like, well, maybe you should put your career. Just something. It would make it really interesting to watch him lose and the fans be like, oh, oh, this is his last match. I don't know. Well, we'll know either way. Storylines. That's all they need. They just suck at him so bad. We'll see. Mm. I mean, look, they do the same thing when, you know, it was like, oh, Edge and Orton, and then, you know, Orton turns on him. Right. So they could do it again. Yep. Uh, that's, that's what I'm counting on. <laughs> I don't I'm want this to be... Counting just, on it. I don't want Edge's last match to just be a random SmackDown loss against Sheamus but we'll yeah. see reply to my DMs Edge uh, next up we've got Top Dollar versus LA Feet yeah Michael Cole called LA Knight's recent popularity the yeah movement I want to hurt him <laughs> I want to hurt him can I sure Do I have permission shut up Michael oh my god Then he, he was horrible this whole match like you might have to hit that button a few times when he's like I'm gonna rap here I go yeah 
And now it's Cole and Pat and Kevin Patrick together, so it's double suck. Oh my god, why? Yeah. This is the team now moving forward? Yeah. Why is Patrick there? Why do you have two play by play guys? Because he needs Cole to Well, if Cole's there, goodbye, Kevin Patrick. Yeah. Stick him on the well, pre show panel. Yeah, Patrick was still doing the play by play. Yeah. Because he I probably know. still knows more wrestling. Michael Cole's been doing it 25 years. Michael Cole still doesn't know half the wrestling moves that, I know. that go on in a match. It's true. And yet we're supposed to think he's the best ever. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Up and down. Up and down. <laughs> right. Jesus Christ. Uh, Knight hit the people's. But, but, but Roman does that. He just <laughs> yeah. did it again recently. It's like, oh, you're still doing that? <laughs> That's still a thing. Uh, so Knight hit the people's. Yeah, Elbo. <laughs> so stupid. And then the uh, BFT for the win. <laughs> yeah. I gave it another name last time, and I forgot, so I came up with that one now. The People's, people's Yell Yelbo. Yelbo. That's that I forgot works. what I called it last time. I really feel like... The People's Ripoff? I don't know. When someone gets hot, you fucking push him to the moon. This is what I feel is happening. Uh huh. He's almost at the top of his popularity. In a few more bullshit matches like this one, and he will start to come down. Yeah. Just like what happened to like Bobby Roode and people like that. Shinsuke, right? They're like, come on, do something, do something, do something, do something. Okay, I don't care anymore. I don't fucking care anymore. What's going to happen is he'll be in the Rumble. Yeah. And then everyone will start marking out. Yeah. Oh, my God. Knight's going to be in the Rumble. And then classic WWE. What are they going to do? He won't even be in the Rumble. Right. Remember Daniel Bryan in oh 2014? My God. Number 30. This must be him. Booyaka, booyaka, fuck your face. Yeah. And I was like, oh, poor Ray. What a horrible everyone, thing to do to a Hall of Famer. <laughs> yeah. So that's Remember what when I, my idea for the Rumble was like, because Cena was supposed to come out too, and he never yeah. came out. Yeah. It's like, have Cena and Brian just be beating the shit out of whoever was next. Uh -huh. The guy comes out, and then see them just come out, beat the shit out of him. They don't go in the ring. They go, there you go for not putting us in. All right. Mm -hmm. Next guy comes out, they just beat the fucking shit out of him. That would have been fun. Right. But, you know, they don't They don't know fun. No, no fun. There's funs. nothing about Raw that is fun. So, no. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, night one, he cuts a brief promo just to pop the crowd. Yeah. But, yeah. look, obviously, he's going to have a uh, a match with The Miz at Payback, probably, right? Oh. I'm telling you. You said, you said Rumble. You think they can keep this popularity up for six more months? I do not agree. I think eventually the fans will be like... Oh, yeah, he's here. Yeah. As long as he's on the show and he's winning, they'll cheer for him. Yeah. For now. Yeah. You know? Fans get tired of shit fast. You know what I mean? Vince is like, oh, I have three years on this guy. No, that's not how fans work anymore. You well, have Sammy, to jump on Sammy it while it's hot. Sammy was super over. Yeah. And then and then they buried him. Yeah. You know? Yep. So that And, and it works because that's what they wanted. They didn't want Sammy to be super over. So stupid. So they bury him so that the fan goes, oh, well, I guess I have, there's no point in me getting emotionally attached to this right, guy right. when he's just going to lose all the he's time. He's going to lose. And that's the big one. That's Elias. That's Rusev. That's oh my God. everyone. Yeah. Dolph Ziggler. Yep. We could go on. Uh, backstage, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits drink some wine together and laugh about how they beat up the OC and whoever last week. What the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? What are we waiting for? What are you waiting for? Yeah, and instead of having solo cups like the, ev <laughs> the every man, now that they're now they're teeth dippers, mm. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> sip, I'm gonna sip some wine. Hey, so that was pretty cool last week when we beat them up, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, should we like do something this week? No, no. no let's just keep drinking no. our wine. Are we being good douchebags? We feel like we are. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins are still acting like they're baby faces. Kind of. They're right. like, yeah, that was pretty cool. You know, this was great. This was cool. You know, we're wearing suits. We're, we're drinking wine. This is cool, Bobby Lashley. And Lashley's like, yeah. And I don't have a direction. Where's MVP? Where is he? <laughs> are you still with that dumb fuck? I need someone to direct us. Exactly. What do we do next? Is Paul available? No. Yeah. Okay. So next up, we have uh, Santos Escobar versus Austin Theory for the United States Championship. Yep. But Theory attacked Escobar backstage earlier in the show. And then later, Kathy Kelly was trying to get an update on Escobar. And this was Theory making fun of Escobar backstage. Someone actually got paid to write this write line. This. Listen. You know, Santos Escobar, he's like toilet paper. Every time you look at him, he just falls apart. 
He's just like uh, toilet paper. Uh, Every time you look at it. Okay, so I'm looking at toilet paper. You're looking at it. It mm. falls apart. Do I have like the Jedi mind trick or something? I don't. I guess. You look at toilet paper and it falls apart? Yeah. Mm. Every time you look at toilet paper, it falls apart. Hold on. Hold on. I don't press this button often because it's long. It's a long one, but it's worth it for this one. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh, 12. Wow. I forgot how long it was. I stopped at 10. I was like, oh, it's still going. Yeah. The writing this week was awful. What? What is this? Awful. What is this? Not just that. What also comes next? Is even more awful. So Santos comes out for the match, but Theory attacks him again. Yeah. And since Escobar can't go, he tells Rey Mysterio to take his place. Oh. And Adam Pierce makes it official. Yeah. Rey Mysterio versus Austin Theory for the United States Championship. 619 and the splash. Rey is the new champion. Theory, they've been protecting the shit. Yep. Out of Austin Theory. There have been so many guys like Champa that could have come in, feuded, and taken that title away from him at a big pay-per-view moment. Yeah. And instead, in a short match where like he hits one finisher, his little combo finisher, and it ends. Not someone big, not an up-and-comer, which is why Escobar. that title. Like Escobar. <laughs> which is why that title exists. What happened? Ray Escobar Mysterio. beat Ray. And then they just swapped it out to where it's Ray again. I don't understand. What is happening? Does Escobar it. and the L L W O turn on Ray next week for I hope screwing him over? Throw a dick. <laughs> but no, he told him. He goes, Ray, you do it. You do it. But he hasn't earned the title shot. Yeah. Man, okay, yeah, you do it. Maybe this was Triple H like, I gotta get this belt off this kid while Vince is in that coma. This is my <laughs> only chance. I gotta do it now. I got to do it now. Then, then have an open challenge with Champa, and it would have went so yeah, over. It. I mean, yeah. There's so many other things you could have done. I, I, I got Mysterio I, I, winning I, titles? Yeah. I don't what? Know. What does Theory do now? What? Because Theory sucks. Yeah. That's Theory's burying him. Terrible. That's burying him. Does he just get it back? <sighs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I hope they would just fire him, but yeah. whatever. Yeah. Release me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's bloodline time. Yep. Roman Reigns walks the ring with Paul Heyman and Solo Sokoa. The tribal chief asks the wise man, where's Jimmy? And then Jimmy Uso comes from the crowd and gets awkwardly, in the ring. Awkwardly. Yeah. And he's still wearing what he wore at SummerSlam. Yeah. So he and hasn't he's like showered. This. He's like this. Mm. He hasn't showered or changed his clothes in six days. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Give me a mic. Mm. Yeah. No. <laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> so the fans chant, you sold out. <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah. Rain tells Jimmy, don't listen to them. They, you know, they're fucktards. Uh, he says, I owe you one. Name your price. You want a car? You want a boat? You Done. want a jet? No. Nope. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jimmy says, no. Get your fucking jet, bro. I don't want any of that. What I did got nothing to do with you. Uh, okay. Uh, what? That was Stone Cold <laughs> watching at home. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, what? <laughs> Let me change the channel. What the fuck was I doing watching SmackDown? <laughs> Let me go watch my reality show where I work at Kane's. <laughs> Here's your change, you piece of trash. <laughs> if he did it in character, it would have been worth watching. But I never watched that show. Or just like, oh, let me let me put on a... something else. Oh, look, it's home improvement. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, so yeah, Jay Uso comes out uh, and he he tells the twin brother I'm about to throw away 37 years if like, you don't tell me why. I guess they're 37. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, I got a few more days. Yeah, a few more. Right. Days. right. <laughs> Five. So Jimmy told Jay. And when this happened at SummerSlam, we were like, what could his reason be? Yeah. And the only reason that kind of kind made of sense worked, was of. I wanted to be the right-hand man. You took that from me. I want to be the next tribal chief. You don't deserve it. I deserve it. I'm better than you, like always. Like, why didn't I get the title shot at SummerSlam? Why did you get it? Right. Yeah. Sure. Jealous. So Jimmy tells Jay, I did what I did because, hold on. I love you. Because I love you. If you would have, 
He goes, this is his quote. I should have grabbed it. If you would have beat Oos at SummerSlam, Oos, you would become the tribal chief. And you would have become like him. And he points at Roman. Roman's like, what the fuck? And then Jimmy says, I would have never let you become an egotistical, mani- uh, maniacal asshole like Roman Reigns. An asshole was not bleeped, so I guess they got fined by the FCC. That's a bad word? Yeah. Asshole? asshole? Really? Yeah. All right. Uh, so so you don't... you di- Okay, so from Jimmy's perspective, you didn't want to lose your brother. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to lose you, so you beat the shit out of him? How does that make any sense? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Right. I don't want to lose you as a brother, Andrew. Yeah, no. I, I mean, know, I, just, I don't think you would. It's a, Why you would know, you? I, the podcast is great, and I feel like if you... You'll move on to bigger and better things. Well, I'm, I'm really... I think I want to win the... What's wrong? You know, I got to win my pay-per-view prediction championship back. Oh. I won it. It was a super close. It was yeah. somewhat controversial. Yeah. Uh, I, well, I really think uh, I'm going to win it back at payback. Say no yeah. more. What? <laughs> So I was obviously the bloodline showed us that I love him. Oh. And that's why that's why I did it, bro. I love you, Oos. I love you. What? I love you. I love you. You, you did that because you loved me? You didn't get oh you didn't get it. No. Oh, you didn't get it. Yeah, yeah. I love you. Yeah. Oh. Did you get it? Yeah, all right. I love okay. you too. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. Sure. Makes so much sense. It makes sense. <laughs> and that's literally where Vince McMahon walked out and jumped over a shark. Yeah. The shark mascot that was on AEW a few weeks ago. Right. He fucked it in the ass. It's over. That was Vince's, uh, I'm not going to jump the shark. I'm going to fuck the shark. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Now we need a shark puppet. Oh, wow. Now I know why Eric hates that. <laughs> right. That's right. It feels so, yeah. <laughs> he put the, did you do that or him? Yeah, I did. No, he did. He, I put think he did it, yeah. His fucking pin on Vince. Yeah. Uh, so Jimmy offers Jay a free shot, but Jay literally turns his back to him, and Jimmy leaves the ring. And then Roman tells Jay, I told you, nobody cares about you or your brother. Acknowledge me. But Jay super kicks him. Sure. Shut the fuck up. And then Solo attacks Jay. He goes for the Samoan spike, but Jay super kicks him. Yeah. And then Roman Superman punches Jay. And goes for a And spear. goes for a spear. Meanwhile, Jimmy... It's still not helping his brother who he loves. He's halfway up the ramp. Yeah. And the, there's a camera on him. But did they ever go to it? Why not go help very, your brother who's getting beaten up? You love him. But right. yeah, Roman goes for spear, but Jay super kicks him again, and he spears Roman. Yeah. And then Jay tells Jimmy to come back, and he acts like he's going to hug him, but then he super kicks Jimmy. Yeah. And then Jay looks in the camera and says, I'm out. I'm out the bloodline. I'm out SmackDown. I'm out of WWE. Deuces, ooses. I kind of loved it. <laughs> Deuces, ooses. And then Jay leaves to the crowd as they cheer him. So he's gone for how long? Well, when's payback? I don't know. That'll before. be the main event of payback. The Usos? In a few weeks, yeah. And did you hear the rumor? Do you have it in rumors? Yes. All right, we'll get to it later. We could say it now. The referee? Yeah, so <laughs> Rikishi. <laughs> he fucking blew it. <laughs> Well, it wasn't Rikishi's fault. I, well, it I wasn't? guess. Well, not real. Rikishi's doing an autograph signing. Yeah. And the ad that the place put out there is come meet Rikishi before he referees at payback. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and a fan tweeted the graphic to Rikishi, and Rikishi replied, wrong poster mistake with a laugh emoji. Mm. But, like, right. I, guess, I guess it partially is his fault because why would the promoters know this information unless Rikishi told them? Right. He for sure told them. But it was probably like Rikishi, like, well, yeah, let this will, you know, this will be big because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be refereeing at payback, and then the promoter was like, well, all right, let's just use that. Let's run with that. We're not like, no, 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 no. But and Vince uh, is like, I've got some bad news. Come here. Yeah, they might kill that now. Yeah. Now that it got spoiled, <laughs> we'll see. But that's the end of SmackDown. Raw opens with the Judgment Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damien Priest says, despite Finn Balor not being out here with us right now, the Judgment Day is not breaking up. But but he should be out here right now. Yeah. And then Rhea's, Rhea Ripley's trying to defuse the situation again. But then J.D. McDonough walks out, and McDonough gives them a message from Balor, who says the real enemy is Sami Zayn and Cody Rhodes. And then Ripley tells J.D., we don't take orders from anyone. Dominic gets booed out of the arena again. 
And then Sami Zayn runs out and attacks McDonough for fucking up his elbow last week. But McDonough pushes Sami's elbow into the ring post. And the Judgment Day doesn't do anything. Yeah. But we got Sami versus JD McDonough. JD attacks Sami's elbow throughout the match. Finn Balor came out and hopped on the apron, but Sami knocked him down. And then Sami won with the Haluva kick. Yeah. Good little match. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Backstage, Adam Pierce starts to tell Chelsea Green that she's going to have to give up the tag titles. Sure. Since Sony Deville is out with a torn ACL. Yeah. You know, the curse of the women's tag division. My God. However, Chelsea talks over him and she says she's going to hold auditions to see who will be her next partner. Mm. Then Caden Carter and Katana Chance walk in yeah, and say, hey, let us know when you find a partner because we want a shot. So were they just listening outside the office? Well, they just panned. They were right there. They were right there. Yeah. They were just standing there the whole time. Yeah. <clears throat> no one saw them. No. Because they're so fucking small. Small. <laughs> right. So yeah, Katana's like, let us know and what? Which one? Oh. When they talk. <laughs> we were listening and we want a title shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Here yeah. comes where the hell have you been? Piper Niven. Where the hell have you been? Yeah. Punches Katana in the face. Yep. Caden Carter does nothing to defend her friend. I wouldn't either. Yeah. Piper's a big girl. And then Piper tells Chelsea, I'm your new partner, and grabs one of the tag belts, and that's it. She's she's a tag team champion. You know, in uh, SmackDown 2, I've said this before, in, yeah. in SmackDown 2, the video game, yeah. The video game, uh, you know, a long time ago, I was the WWF champion, WWF. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> and Kane beat me up and took my title. And then when we had the match, it said he was the champion. <laughs> he was the champion. And I didn't think that you could actually do that. Yeah. But they did it. Yeah. They did it. So Piper just takes it. Do you think do I have, they didn't really address this after, right? No, this that's this is canon now. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Until Katana Chance and Gaten Carter beat them. Beat and them. Then, yeah, probably. Yeah. And then someone else will beat them. And wow! 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 They wow. won't ever. Wow! Wow! It, wow! Nothing will matter. No. Next up, Imperium comes out. Gunther cuts a promo while standing on the top of, of the announce table. The ring general gives props to Chad Gable, but says he's no Gunther. Mm -hmm. And then he's interrupted with a shoes. Yeah. And Chad Gable walks out with Otis and Maxine. He says he's taking Gunther's title, but tonight he's got a match with Giovanni Vinci. And then Ludwig Kaiser gets in the ring and tries to fuck Maxine again, <laughs> but she slaps him. Oh. So we got Gable versus Vinci. Gable wins with Chaos Theory. Chaos. After the match, Gunther challenges Otis to a match, and then Gunther beats Otis with a power bomb. Yeah. And then Gable gets in the ring right after the match and gives Gunther a German suplex and Imperium retreats. Mm. Icy title match next week where Chad Gable loses to Gunther. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But, you know, it'll probably be a good match. Be a good match. It's Chad Gable. Even though we saw it, what, last week? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next up, we've got the Viking Raiders versus Matt Riddle and Drew McIntyre. Riddle pretty much forced Drew into this. Yeah. Who wasn't happy about it. The the Raiders were holding an open challenge. Yeah. I've never heard of jobbers holding an open challenge. Right. No, that's you going, can we have a match? Open challenge. Open challenge. Right. And they're like, uh, it's a three-hour show. Fine. Yeah. Fine. So in their backstage segment, Drew was... Like shushing Riddle the way Randy Orton used to. Yes. Riddle talks too much, and then Randy Orton just puts his finger on his mouth, like, yes. shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, Drew beats Eric with a Claymore. Yeah. Backstage, Riddle tells Drew that they should become the tag team champions, but the New Day takes offense and challenges them to a match for next week. Heel Day? They, have, they were holding chairs, right? And they were <clears throat> acting a little cocky. Yeah. Hmm. Don't get your hopes what am up. I kidding? No. Don't get your hopes up, Joe. Well, that's not. If they both become heels, what's the fucking point of that? Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Or maybe they lose and Woods turn. No, it's not gonna happen. Uh, so, my thing is like, what if Drew and Riddle become a great tag team? Mm -hmm. They could even win the belts because Kevin Owens injured, whatever. Yeah. And then Randy, when Randy comes back, he's like, "What the fuck?" And we have an interesting storyline where like we don't know. What will happen? Will Riddle choose Randy? Will Riddle choose Drew? 
Will Randy just kick Riddle in the balls? Will Drew kick both of them? The you know what I mean? You like you have this situation Will where it's he like knife this, them with his sword, this love triangle type thing, <laughs> where you don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe <clears throat> could be interesting. I just think it'd be funny to bring back Randy, and this is what he cares about. He's a future Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's had how many towel reigns, and he cares about being Riddle's. Buddy. I finally loved someone, <laughs> right? And they do this to me more than myself. Not really. Yeah. Next up, we have Rhea Ripley versus Indy Hartwell. Rip tied for the win. Candice LeRae attacks Ripley after the match. Indy joins in, and they beat up Ripley and then run away. They beat up Ripley. Yeah. Ripley. Yeah. And they run away. They're out of there. Okay. Uh, how she pinned... They were just like, Ripley hasn't had a match in a while. Yeah. Natalia doesn't, doesn't even know who she is anymore. Yeah. And she's got to beat someone. It was so sexy how she pinned Indy. I was just well, smiling. yeah, that's how she always One. does it. Yeah, <laughs> Two. that's why the I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I gotta hear a button where you that? fucking do it. Uh, well, there you go. Oh, yeah, now you're gonna get it. Oh, oh, oh. That was Tony Khan hugging Cesaro. No, 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 sir. <laughs> that is you, fucking Eric. <laughs> Oh, right. It's right there. Yeah, yeah, it's right there, there it is. There's me fucking Eric. Yep. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Next up, Michael Cole interviews Nakamura in the ring. Cole asks Nakamura, why did you attack Seth Rollins last week? Don't feel like this really needed that much of an explanation. It's pretty obvious. Is it? And Nakamura said, I want the world title. Yeah. And you he, dumb fuck. You That's dumb. what he should have said to Cole. <laughs> why and is Cole, Cole asked, even there? Cole just Cole asked, did you have to kick him in the face? Why didn't he kick Cole in the face? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Kick him. Oh, because he would have been a baby face. But then um, Nakamura said a bunch of stuff. I didn't well, understand. he answers in Japanese and then he says, I want the world title. I he want says the it world title. Twice. Yeah. So Seth's music hits and Nakamura looks annoyed. Uh, Seth tells Nakamura, you could have just asked. Uh, Rollins accepts Nakamura's challenge. He says, you name the time and the place and I will be there to kick your ass. Now shake my hand. Get out of my ring and let them sing my song. Yeah. So Nakamura shakes Seth's hand. Yeah. Whispers something in his ear. I fucked the Becky two years ago. And leaves the ring. Right. And what else could it be? And Seth, see, that, well, <laughs> uh, yeah, next week, that's what they're going to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seth is shocked by what Nakamura said. And then Nakamura lays Seth out with a uh, Kinshasa. I jack off to your wife every night. Every day. Every day. That's what this is. That's just, jerking off to Becky. Becky. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sure that'll be a payback match as well. Sure. It will main event because Jay and Jimmy will main event. Right. Next oh, up. Fighting for family rights. Tribaloose. Tribaloose. Yeah. yeah. Tribaloose. Like Next up, we've got Becky Lynch versus Trish. Okay. I wasn't finished. <laughs> She interrupted hey, you. Yeah. Welcome back. Trish got the ref to pause the match because her mask came off. Mm. All right. Happens. Trish then revealed that her nose is completely fine now and she no longer needs the mask. Uh, why is she wearing it? Then they end up fighting in the crowd and it's a double count out. You can't even give one of these. Like, this has been going on too long, too. The fight continues in the concourse. Yeah. <laughs> Trish throws merch at Becky poorly. Yes. And pretends to wear a Seth Rollins T-shirt, <clears throat> like oh look pretends. at me, oh yeah, heat, heat, no, right. no heat, none. And then Becky was about to give Trish the manhandle slam on top of the table, but a mystery woman attacks her. Who She's could it be? By a mystery woman in a hoodie. I I thought it was Jimmy Uso personally because it, it was a black hoodie. I thought it was Lita. When I, then I was like... Lita? No, no, Den. No. Yeah, Den. I thought wait. it was Stacy Keebler. Stace, wait a minute. Yeah. Stacy Keebler? Then I was like, no, no, Christian. Christian Cage? Yes. Christian? Then Jericho? Hold it. Yeah. Wait, Trish Stratus. And then I was like convinced it was CM Punk. She's had a friend. Yeah. To, um, to, uh... That's Joey Stark! They were double counted out. This match has been over. Why is she hiding? Why is she in disguise? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Holy fucking tits! <laughs> it's Zoe Stark. Is she going to give her a, a go to tits? <laughs> go to tits. No, she didn't. Uh, Trish also went for a high five, but Zoe wasn't looking. Yeah, this that was, was like, funny. And then she went for it and yes. just missed. Missed completely. <laughs> Nothing but air. Yep. 
Uh, and then backstage, Adam Pierce tells Trish that she's facing Becky again, but this time it's in a steel cage. You know who wants to see this match again? Nobody! Nobody. He even says, he didn't even give a date. He just goes, the next time this happens, right. it'll be in a steel cage. We don't know when it'll happen. Now will it be payback? Maybe. Probably not. Mm-mm. Uh, finally, the main event, we have Cody Rhodes versus Finn Balor. Last week, we saw Cody Rhodes pin Finn Balor. Yes. So this week, we have Cody Rhodes versus Finn Balor. What happened? Cody Rhodes pinned Finn Balor. Got it. Yeah. Well, you know. The Judgment Day really. was constantly interfering. <clears throat> uh, Dominic slid in a chair. Balor grabbed it. The ref stepped on it and took it away. Then Ripley distracted the ref, and Balor asked for the briefcase, so Priest slid it in the ring. I would like this. This is funny. But he slid it under <laughs> Balor's legs, and Cody grabbed it, and there was a moment where they were just, like, frozen, like, oh, we're fucked. Yep. And Cody hit Balor with the fucking briefcase, and he hit the crossroads for the win. Yep. And then Dominic and Priest attacked Cody after the match, but then Sami Zayn runs out with a chair and cleans house. However, J.D. McDonough runs out and attacks Sammy to make the save for Judgment Day. Priest gives Sammy a razor's edge through the announce table. Balor gives Cody multiple coup de gras and flexes his arms that have no muscles. And then Judgment Day stands tall as Michael Cole yells, We mm. are a united Judgment Day. Michael Shut Cole. Shut up, Michael. Why well, would... <sighs> we. We. We are a united Judgment Day. He's part of them. It makes sense. Because they suck, he sucks. Yeah, where did uh, Will go? Will? Yeah. Will who? Oh, uh, what's McDonough's name? JD McDonough? Sorry, JD. <laughs> I think I, Will McDonough is the sports caster from the 80s. Okay. Um, where, yeah, where did he go? He was not in the ring with them. He was outside the ring. Okay. I really thought this was their chance to grow Judgment Day. Well, they're, obviously he's going to join No, it would have been happened by now. They would have just gonna... done it last, this, you know, this Raw. They're going to do it. Right. And yeah, grow Judgment the stable. Day's grow gr- the stable. Judgment Day is growing. Well, I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well grow it. Mm. It's collapsing right before us. Okay. <laughs> Go away. I'm glad you're so uh, optimistic. Also, before Raw, hours before Raw, mm. there was a video on social media. <laughs> That's right. You said it to us. Of Tommaso Ciampa handing out missing posters for Johnny Gargano. He says, it's Johnny's birthday. I can't find him. I'm handing out, you know, missing posters. Where is Johnny Gar- Gargano? Where in the world yeah. is my best friend? Yeah. And I said, I was like, huh, okay. Is this going to be something on Raw? Probably not. And it no. wasn't. No. No. I was like, I even tweeted, like, I hope this leads to something. No. But I doubt it. Mm-mm. And yeah. It was on his personal page? No. It was on WWE? Yeah. They put this out there? Yeah, I think so. And you saw the Chelsea Green, the prequel that Eric sent us? Yeah. That was great. That was like the same, yeah. Where he's like, kind of like, well, you know, we, we, were, we got together in this tournament. Yeah. Then we were best friends and we had a minor disagreement. <laughs> oh, no, it was just... Then we got back together. Sorry, it was Tommaso Ciampa that put it out I there. I was going to say, like... I'm surprised they even let him. Like, hey, this is not... We're not doing this. Right. Johnny will never be back. Yeah. That was Vince's last words before he went into surgery. Right. Don't let Johnny back. Oh my God. I hate him. The glorious stuff was amazing. He wouldn't suck my dick. Yeah, I even mentioned the glorious bombs in this video. That was yeah. good. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's all for nothing. It's all for nothing. Tommaso Champ is not on the show. Nothing. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <sighs> on to awards. Who is your worst dressed? Oh, yeah, awards. I'll I go, think for, I, go ahead. I had the uh, jet black hair referee. It was very uh, distracting. Yeah. Hey, Parmesan, like, got involved in one of the matches. That's stepped right. on the chair. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was very he's, angry. He's been watching AEW. Very angry. He's been watching AEW too yeah. much. I just had Otis. I don't know why. All right. Yeah. Best dressed? Maxine for oh, me. The one that was hanging off of Otis. Yes. <laughs> it made it look better, I think. I had EO Sky. Sure. Worst acting? I had Matt Riddle this week. I was like, it's too much. It is annoying. I'd be like, shut up, shut up. Shut yeah. Up, shut your mouth. Right. I had uh, Austin Theory. Mm. Best acting? I guess Jay. I liked how he ended it. He's like, I'm out of this shit. I'm fucking done with this. And we're like, same. 
I went with Roman Reigns, who was basically me watching this. Like, what is this? What is this shit? This makes no sense. Yeah. You guys are both fucking stupid. Yeah. Worst comment? Oh, this is like, uh, it's like, we're going to watch LA Night and Top Dollar going to get smashed tonight. Cole. (sighs) What are you doing? And then there's Uh, silence. Like, they didn't even like act like that was funny. And then like, Corey was like, what? What What are you doing? I had uh, Jimmy's excuse. I didn't want to lose you. Well, that. So I beat the fuck out of you. Sure. Best comment? Deuces, ooses. I liked it. I had whatever Nakamura whispered to Seth. Because I want to know. I want to know. He didn't say anything. Well, it worked. That can't count. He whispered to it. He went. And Seth was like. You got to tell me what it is on that category. So deuces, ooses. Fuck Becky. Sweep it. Worst match? Trish Becky, because it just Trish a... Becky, super slow mo. Trish Becky, sure. Best match, I have Sammy and um, JD. Okay, I went Gable Vinci, whatever. Sure. Worst move, the AJ Cross thing, that whole fuck up. Cross botch, cross botch. Oh, he went for the cross hammer, but instead clash. he hit the cross botch. The clash bash. Yeah. Best move, uh, Ripley pinning. Mm. I was like, mm. Mm-hmm. I went with EO's uh, springboard drop kick. Okay. Like sure. that. Worst moment? Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy's fucking answer. I guess it's that. Shut I the mean, fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. And then best moment? I just liked where the Money in the Bank case went under Finn's legs. And I was just like, oh, that's funny. Like, this is getting worse. Right. To the yeah, end that of, was good. The end of Judgment Day is coming. That was good. I just had EO. Finally. I just had EO kicking ass. All right. I liked seeing her. You like your EO? I do. You. All right, that is all for awards. Now it's time for some breaking news. Hey, right here. Uh, so Kevin Owens, I need someone to react to this thing. Okay, all right. So Kevin Owens uh-huh. recently had an interview okay. with the Toronto Sun. Oh, really? And he said, I used to say I don't see myself not being in the ring for another five to ten years. And if I said it right now, I'd be lying because over the last few months, I have to admit, I don't know if that's true anymore. I know I want to be involved in the WWE, and I know I have a place here. I just don't know where it is exactly. Maybe it's still in the ring. Maybe it's not. We have a new puppet. Uh-huh. It's called Tony Khan. Oh, yeah. Kevin. Uh-huh. Kevin. Yeah, can you not touch me there, buddy? Kevin Steen. Yeah, I know. Look, I know you'll offer me more money, but it comes with a hug that I don't want. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, yeah. Is that what this is? Is oh, is he that up was for? Close. That was close. Is he up for? Uh, yeah. I thought he signed a longer deal or something. So in beginning three of year. in beginning of 2021, he signed a three year deal. And we thought then he was, we thought then he was going AEW. Yeah. And we were like, why did he resign? And it was because <clears throat> he had a match with Stone right. Cold at WrestleMania. Fuck. Which that's a reason to resign. Holy shit. So his contract is, is expiring at the end of the year. Ooh. Yeah. That's just another, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, if he didn't leave three years ago, I get it. Yeah, Stone Cold's a big deal, but I feel like he won't. Well, AEW's a fucking mess. It's a right. mess. What if they swap KO for MJF? Like, MJF <sighs> goes WWE, KO goes there, and the KO I'd show. feel bad for KO, but I'd watch it a little bit, obviously. I mean, watch it a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, maybe he just feels burnt out. He's like, you know, okay, you add the... you. You had the match with Stone Cold. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, you won the tag belts with Sammy. But now you're just kind of, you know, you're injured. But even before that, like, you're just kind of doing nothing. Well, it was raw. all centered around Sammy, too. And usually he's the leader of everything. You know what I mean? He also spoke about Sammy. And, like, he basically said that he had to hype Sammy up for WrestleMania because Sammy was, like, so upset that he got himself. He was the most over guy and they didn't pick him. The main event WrestleMania. Yeah. And he was like, Yeah, I had to convince Sammy, like, look, it's still gonna be a big moment. We're gonna win the tag belts together. Like it was actually KO building up Sammy to Yeah. <clears throat> I mean crazy. they got their main event. Yeah, they uh, did main night event. Night one, but yeah. That's true. KO's main evented night one twice now. Wow. Yeah. Uh also uh Hulk Hogan turned seventy years old. When last I saw week. that I was like, Oh wow. Yeah. It's old. It's up there. <laughs> He had a, He was on uh, the Theo Vaughn's podcast, and it was really good. Really? Yeah, it was a really oh, good interview. Man. 
Theo Vaughn like was annoying the fuck out of him. It was so funny. Really? Because right. Theo Vaughn couldn't stop like just doing Hulk impressions, <laughs> and Hulk's just sitting there like oh, this fucking Mark. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. All right, rumor time. Rumors! Kevin Owens wins back the Universal title? Maybe! Balor Club to finally get a second member? Too sweet! Brock Lesnar willingly works a full schedule? No chance! Next year's WrestleMania will be in Saudi Arabia? Confirmed! So Mike Rotunda, formerly known as IRS, yep. and Bray, Ro- Bray Wyatt's real-life father, yeah. recently spoke with Sportskedia and said about his son you read a lot of stuff on the internet which i wouldn't believe a lot of it or in my case any of it so bray wyatt i'm sure will return to wwe hopefully shortly and we'll go from there now fightful has been reporting that wyatt is getting closer to being cleared to return after battling a life-threatening illness sure well yeah i guess it could be um and I think I think Rotunda was referring to the fans. Like when once Bray was gone and we didn't hear anything for a while, we all just figured Bray left again because guess who's back? Because yeah. Vince came back. Yeah. And then it was you know we just figured that Vince was like, okay, we're not gonna do any of this shit. <laughs> and Bray's like, ooses, do you know, yeah. deuces, ooses, deuces, ooses. But but according to Fightful, it's all been like a serious illness that I guess they're right. just keeping it quiet. Yeah. Which is scary because Brody Lee like all of a sudden one day we're just like Brody Lee's dead oh what happened well he was sick what yeah and they didn't tell anyone no you know it was right. this big secret right but apparently they're saying he's better now and he's gonna be coming back soon so we'll see like this third fourth iteration yeah. of him like you know just bring back the Wyatt family already I know like it's the only thing that was ever really good the fiend was good until it got a ridiculous and this last fucking thing with Uncle Howdy, like, what is this? Who is I this know. weird character? You know, okay, it's going to be Bo Dallas, but even then, like, right. what's that explanation? That's the thing. Is well, we, my Uncle Howdy was my brother that's Howdy. That's the thing is what? now literally everyone knows. Yeah. So, like, the reveal is going to just be like, you know, right. it's going to happen. And then I was crickets. But again, that's Bo Dallas. What? Who? Yeah. Half the crowd's like, who's that? But, like, now that we've had time to think about it, if you would have done it, right, like a month later, two months later, right, like, they were... Fucking milking it forever. It had to have been. Would have been like, oh my god! Now we're like, oh wait, no, seriously. Like now we had time to think. So it's his uncle is his brother. Like how would that even make sense? (laughs) It doesn't make sense. But remember, he was supposed to fight Lashley at Mania. Yeah, that was going to be the match because they said they wanted it to be Wyatt Brock, and Brock turned it down. Right. And that would be the reveal, I'm guessing. I guess. Yeah. So, we'll see. I get. I. I just think Bray probably doesn't want to do the same thing. And that's why we did this whole Uncle Howdy shit, but we'll see what happens. Also, it seems like uh, Lacey Evans is done with WWE. Oh, really? She changed her Twitter handle to Limitless Macy. Macy's her real first name. Uh, she also posted a meme that says, how many days are left? She's also teasing an OnlyFans, and her bio says, formerly known as Lacey Evans. An OnlyFans? Yeah. What a you know, where she'll just uh, have some... Instagram like photos that you have to pay for. Right. Right. Just for most of them, too. Yeah. And if she has, you know, all she needs is 100,000 people to pay her $10. Exactly. And there's a lot of people. Just like like Mandy. Mandy. (laughs) I mean, yeah. They make so much money from that shit. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, That's all I got for rumors. So it's trivia time. Yeah. This one's a little strange, but you might get it. Um, So, like, it's a current streak. Currently, how many consecutive times have the women tag team titles reigns been under 45 days? Oh, okay. So how many these tag belts that were introduced like what, four years ago, five yeah. years ago? Yeah. How many times have the title reigns been under 40 days? No, no, no. Like, like currently there's a streak. Yeah. So how long is that streak? And oh. yeah, like who? All right. Yeah. So obviously this one just happened. And this one's probably gonna, they're probably gonna lose these two. So that's one. But yeah. They beat Liv and Raquel. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Shayna Baszler and Ronda were the. Who did Shayna Baszler and Ronda beat? They beat Liv and Raquel. Right. So that's four. Who did Liv and Raquel beat? <laughs> that's hard. So it's four. The way you're doing it, the answer is four, but I didn't include the current. 
I didn't include Chelsea and her because they still technically have the titles. Oh, so, I meant like it was Chelsea and Sony. Now it's Chelsea and Piper. Oh, so I, I didn't, guess I didn't before that. Liv and Raquel, it was another short reign. Yeah. Who was that? Becky Lynch and oh, Lita of course. had it for 42 days. Right. So this is the last four champions. And who did they beat? 42, 39, 33, 16. Yeah. Who did Becky and Lita beat? Um, hmm. Uh, see, that's what I mean. This women's tag division is terrible. Did uh, did Becky's, uh, Bailey's group have them? Yeah. yeah. It was damage control. Yeah. There you go. Yo and uh, Dakota. Yeah, it's terrible. You got to get rid of those belts, but they won't. No. All right. So let's do some fan questions. Here we go. go. Hold it. No. Kimbo, if Austin Theory didn't want to defend his title, then why didn't he immediately hit Ray over the head with a chair when the match started? Does he suffer from A Town Down syndrome? <laughs> oh, Jesus. God. He said it, not me. Aaron Rodgers is not garbage. Non uh, weekly non wrestling question that might or might not piss off Eric. Oh, he's not even I here. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah. Push fire, Barry, The Sopranos, Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad. Oh my God! At least that's all good, and it's not piss shit or vinegar. I would fire Game of Thrones because oh, I never even watched it. God, it's so good. And this then, is hard. Sopranos and Breaking Bra- Breaking Bad is like one A one B for me. Yeah, because there wouldn't be a Breaking Bad without the Sopranos. But I think I slightly like Breaking Bad more, so I would say push Breaking Bad, Barry Sopranos. And and just in a Sophie's Choice situation, I would, I would just switch Game of Thrones and Sopranos, but only because I have to. And push Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking okay. Bad's the best. But I mean, yeah, everyone hated that final season, right, or whatever of Game of Thrones. No, so the, it's got to hurt it, right? No, no, no. The, the last episode was not great, but I actually liked it a lot. Um, but there's been there's like petitions signed by like a fuck ton of fans like to redo the whole last. Of course, they're not, but redo what? Redo the whole last season. No, th- there was great moments in the last season. A lot yeah. of people didn't like it. Yeah. One nine nine big T uh, in last uh, Saturday's game, the Braves were one run shy of scoring 22 runs against the Mets. That's true. That is true. Uh, This is how we do it. How should Randy Uh, Orton be booked when he returns? Well, I gave you a scenario. Yeah. There you go. It's a story. (laughs) Yeah. It's a story. Omar, Indy Hartwell deserves better. She got drafted as the champion, then had to relinquish because of the injury. Uh, Then she had the most lackluster return. And every time she's on Raw, it's like no one gives a fuck. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hard to feel bad for her. She's kind of hot, right? I mean, yeah, she's kind of hot. Sure. P.S. Fuck you, Ray, you piece of shit. I swear to God, they better not try to unify the U.S. and North American title. Oh. Uh, I Dominic thought about that. I thought about North that. North American title. Yep. But we've already seen them fight. Right. <clears throat> Who like wants to recently, see that again? Recently. I'm Raj. Don't know if any of you guys have seen that Maven is on YouTube recently, and he's opening up about his time in WWE. It's funny. He is doing that. I wonder if... Eric's brother's involved. <laughs> You're right. Because <laughs> Eric's brother was the one that, like, t- you know, uh, finances his autograph appearances. Right. Uh, one of the videos is him talking about how much he made during his time in WWE. Thought it might be interesting to share. He was there from, I think, 2001 to 2005. So I guess five years. Um, do you want to guess what his total earnings? Total was? earnings. <clears throat> In, I guess, From five Maven, years. Maven, who really wasn't ever anything. I'm going to say, ooh, fuck. 350,000. 800,000. 800? 800,000. Oh, that's not bad. He said his best year was 430,000. Oh. So in his best year, he did more than double what he overall made. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. His lowest year was 80,000. Right. That's kind of all his factor. I mean, his best year was 430. When was he ever anything? When that he, he would have eliminated like, the Undertaker? Like hardcore champion? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Corley. He was, so, he was always boring, too. Right. Always. But he won. I tough liked enough, him on right? Tough Enough. Yeah. yeah. I really liked him on Tough Enough. But then, yeah, he was boring. <clears throat> Quarterly uh, royalty checks before WWE Network was five grand. So five grand every quarter. Wait, what? But then he got a royalty check. Oh, we're still on. Uh, what's his face? Okay. Maven. It was five grand. Then. After WWE Network, three hundred dollars because no more DVD sales. Mm. It's hilarious. Damn. Which that was Punk's 
When Punk left WWE and went on Cabana's podcast, he mentioned that. He was like, wait, so how is WWE Network going to affect my pay? And they said, like, they told him, like, uh, uh, like they just, you know, yeah. didn't really give him an answer. Well, and that's one of the reasons you're seeing all the strikes now. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of streaming stuff that people don't yeah. get paid for like they used to. Right. Dashing Dan, so what's so good about Xavier Woods? Mike's skills are okay, but is he really that special in the ring? What makes him better than any other mid-card guy? Your thoughts on that? I'll tell you why. First of all, when they were a heel for five minutes, he was very good on the mic, and he led them, right? And you could just tell because he's very easy. He's, he yes. has a great personality, and he can deliver lines very easily. You turn him into a heel, I, I just think, I don't right. know, I think it would be great. Same Look, and the New Day's height, when we loved the New Day, don't forget that. Don't forget that we all, look, we hated when they started because it was Vince McMahon bullshit. But then Vince finally let them be themselves, and they were heels, and then they got over so much, they were baby faces. Everyone loved the New Day. Let's not forget that. And that was because Xavier Woods was really fucking funny. And now it's just gotten so old. The biggest moments in the history of wrestling, outside of title changes. Yeah. Sean betrays Marty. Right. Andre betrays Hogan. Yes. Triple H betrays Sean. Yeah. I mean, it, it goes on and on. It's like, why didn't they do this? Right. The uh, best the story. The Shield, right? Seth Rollins betrays. The best it's feuds. Like, the best feuds are always best friends or Champa brothers. Johnny. Yeah. Fuck. He I says, also have to mention it, Cody's schoolgirl smile after Brock congratulated him at SummerSlam was pure cringe. <laughs> He looked like the fat girl who just kissed the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's a great analogy. <laughs> That's so good. Carlos Ramirez, Push Fire Barry, Terrible Undertaker Feuds, DDP, Muhammad Hassan, and Gray Kali. <clears throat> These are all terrible, but I would have to push DDP just because As he's the worst? DDP. As the worst? No, I'll like push it. Oh, if you're going to push one of them, I would push DDP just because he's talented, unlike the other two. Yeah, I would bury Hassan and, and fire Kali. Hassan was like the terrorist thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Willie Friday, I was thinking about this, but if WWE actually cared to build John Morrison, do you think he would uh, be at least a star and win one or two world titles? Saw highlights of him, and I was like, damn, what if? Uh, well, he was if they very talented. Him to, yes. sure. He was very talented. I think but, he had the look and he had the talent. He was just tiny, and Vince didn't like teeny tinies. But when it came to this, nothing. Yeah. No mic skills. Horrible. Uncle Saudi. Andrew, what's your personal top three impressions you do? Uh, Joe, your Spider-Man is spot on. Could have I mean, told me that's the real person under the Green Goblin Power Ranger suit. When you put that, when you showed me that button for the first time, I was like, oh, cool. You got it from the movie. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, my, my top three personally, I think I do Stone Cold the best. Mm -hmm. I think I do Joker second best. For sure. And then... Third would be a toss Third up. is like a bunch of, you know, I could maybe like pick 10. I really like Aldo Rain in, in Glorious Bass. I like doing Aldo Rain. Yeah. You know? I would you know say... You know some I think this just might be my masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe you're Sean. Sean Michael. Yeah. Vin Man. Because you have the. Uh, 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 <laughs> That's just Sean dying. Vinder Digger. This yeah. is Sean dying. Uh, uh, oh my God, it's the Undertaker. <laughs> I guess I'm really am a dead man. Uh, Jonathan Smith, Dom calls Rhea mommy and she's engaged to Buddy. So does that mean when they get married, the Dom has to call Buddy Poppy? Or am I overthinking this? Uh, yeah. Don't forget. When this whole thing started, Dominic would go back and forth from calling her mommy, and sometimes he called her poppy. Yeah. He said that. He was like, oh, poppy. And then she, like, when he said that, I think he fucked up because in the segment, Rhea looked at him funny. Like, what? You yeah. fucking idiot. Yeah. Poppy? And now they're engaged. Yeah. Cock Lesnar. I hate him. This is from Cock Lesnar. Oh, yeah, I yeah. know him. Uh, did you see that woman stroking Priest's arm when he was on the floor? Kind of creepy. Just hope she wasn't stroking herself with her other hand. Mm. I didn't notice that, no. Very nice. Yeah. The Rizzler of all the new up-and-comers and crowd favorites, they decided to give the U.S. title to that geriatric fuck. Mm. You mean to tell me they'd rather give it to Ray and dull that title down even more than give Champa or Knight a chance of making something of it? I mean, that's what you should do is you should give Knight... The U.S. title now so that fans are still like high on him 
And then come rumble time, he drops it and wins the fucking rumble. You know what I mean? What Something did I say? Like I said he's, he's, his cusp is almost there. Right. Jump on this now. Give him something. Give yeah. him something. They gave Stone Why Cold. wouldn't he beat Austin Theory? It's the perfect fucking person to take that title off of Theory. They gave Build Stone Cold. payback. They yeah. gave Stone Cold the IC title just to hold him over till the rumble. Sure. Then he won it and went, I got bigger fish to fry. Here you go, Rock. And Rock's like, oh, thanks. Stutter. <laughs> Stutter. But he handed it to Rock. Yeah. Brian, push fire Barry, wrestling periods during the what's wrong with wrestling era. Mm. 2015 to 2017, 2018 to 2021, and 2021 to <laughs> present. Here's the thing. Yeah. I think you fire 2018 to 2021 because like two of those years were COVID, COVID years. Yeah. With the and then I would push 2015 to 17 just because Kevin Owens was universal champion during that, you know, and uh, and that was the with him and Jericho. Yeah. Just for that reason alone. Yeah, I'm fine with that. You know? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Coctopus. Nice. Not a question, but I had a dream that you, Josh, Joe, and Eric had an episode where you critiqued rap battles. I'm fairly sure this never happened. Just wanted to confirm. No, yeah, there's a Patreon episode of that. Go check it out. All right, Where let's we critiqued be... what? <clears throat> rap battles. We did? No. Oh, I was like, what are you no. talking about? We critiqued Michael Cole's rap. Uh, uh, let's be real for a minute. Did Charlotte share, mm. go back in time on her plastic surgery, looking more like NXT Charlotte, or is that just me? I think it's just you. It's just you, bro. Yeah. Joseph Ryling, Vince, I'm a genius. I just had an epiphany. What's that? More judgment day? Ha, 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 ha. So sick of seeing them. I cringe every time I hear their music. Yep. Keep up the great work. Thanks. WWE? No. The Judgment Day? Yeah. Oh. PCJ, who has jerked themselves off more? The combined audience of your podcast or WWE for their shitty, overly drawn out bloodline storyline? It's. It seems like, you know, people are starting to get sick of it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. So we'll see. Bill Cummings. Love that name. I don't see it with Priest. His promos are painfully wooden. Uh, when the Judgment Day breaks up, Rio will be the only star to come out of that faction. That's true. I agree. I mean, Finn can be great when they're doing it right. Yeah. Vinny the Gooch. Bad booking aside, I think Karrion Cross was a more intimidating heel as a proud, bald man. Well, he's booked better, you know. Uh, red shirt guy, Sonny's STD is known as the Sitch. We all know that. But did you know that the STD originated from Shawn Michaels? Back then it was known as the hick in the bottom, which is what is, which is, as it happens, is how the STD is contracted. It's the hick in the bottom. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Thanks. And red, that, red you know. Shirt guy. Yeah. Uh, Juan Saul, fuck Mary Kill, Chelsea Green, Candice LeRae, Eo Sky. Well, that's a good one. That's, that's easy a for good me. Good one. I would marry. I think we're killing Candice. Yeah. Marry Eo and and fuck Green. That's mine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Jason Deere, what do you guys think? Rollins or Nakamura whispered into Rollins. Oh, he also. Oh, he said, "Ever since you had this gimmick, you look really gay." That's what. He wow. says it's not going to work. Said right. to Seth. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Michael Garcia, hot take. I think Logan Paul is the closest thing to Shawn Michaels in the business right now. Wow. That's going far, but he's getting there. Shit, man. He's getting there. Jonathan Ramos, what are your top three pay-per-view theme songs? I don't even know what that means. Like whatever song was like the song of the pay per view, okay. Like WrestleMania 17, where uh, the Limp Biscuit song. Oh, uh, this is an Eric question. <laughs> he probably remembers them all. My way or the highway. Sure, I, that's my number one. I guess. <laughs> sure. Michael Johnson, what does Stone Cold think about entering next year's Rumble, winning and taking down Roman Reigns at WrestleMania? Well, that was a rumor last year. It was a big rumor that Stone Cold Not was going to have one more match, and it wasn't Brock Lesnar. So the Marks thought I was coming out and win the Rumble. But not to... Not but to, I said, <laughs> not enough money. Did they really say like he would win the title? No. No, it was just a rumor that he was going to fight Roman. Just fight Roman. Yeah. Fight Roman and lose. Right. Like but that. yeah, I'll be fine with that just to get it off Roman. I mean, yeah. look, I'm a Stone Cold Mark, obviously. I'll mark the fuck out for that. Yeah. Chef Dave, let me uh, know where I can send some Salazar Salsa company jars for you guys to try. 
Maybe for the next PLE. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Send me a DM, Chef Dave. That'd be great. I guess he he really was a chef all along. <laughs> Interesting. That's a, it. What a what a payoff. <laughs> Ryan, even though it's uh, better than any WWE payoff reason. Yeah. Even though it's impressive when Chad Gable does the chaos theory due to his size and the strength, the move itself is not a devastating looking finisher. I mean, yeah, especially for the year 2023. Right. When they kick out of everything. Could you come up with a more appropriate name for the finisher to match the actual harm it causes? I'm thinking French tickler because it works on two levels, tickling and sex toys. Oh. And I'm and no, I'm not high right now. Well, I mean, how high are you? Yeah. Hi, how Hi, are you? Hi, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> the old Kanye, no question, but here are the spoilers of Monday's main event taping. Natalia. Wait, wait, why? Well, I don't know. He just thought it'd be oh, funny. Oh, okay. Uh, I was like, did something happen? For main event. <laughs> Natalia defeated Tegan Knox. Okay. And Ricochet defeated Champa. What? Ricochet and Champa were on main event. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. And even Not worse, only Champa took the loss. Champa jobbed on the job show. Triple H is in charge? That's what everyone's saying now? That Triple H is actually in charge? No, I don't believe Hey, it. Hunter, fuck you then. That's your boy. You don't do that to your boy. Andy Nance, I'm sure this will be addressed, but can we get some consistency? When Raquel got hurt, they immediately had to drop the belts, and now Sonya's hurt, and we get to play American Idol. Why aren't the Why aren't they held to the same standard? Well, I think at least that makes sense. First of all, it's pro wrestling. There's no standards. There's right? no consistency. Piper just took it in wrestling. Uh, no, because I think Chelsea's playing the Karen thing. Like, don't you fucking dare! Yeah, or I'm gonna call HR, and then Pierce is like, uh, right. Okay. I don't want you to do that. Donald Alexander is Dexter Loomis still with WWE. Just saw him in an episode of Tacoma FD on True TV. I don't know. I don't know. Is Johnny answer. Gargano still with WWE? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. And then Jake Goldstein, push fire kill. Mm. Push fire kill? That's, that's okay. Mark Henry, Big Show, Bronson Reed. I'm killing Reed. Of course. Mark Henry, Big Show, Mark Henry, push Big Show. Fire Mark Henry. That's kind of a toss up. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Big guys. All right. That is all for fan questions. So make sure you subscribe to the podcast as well as our other one, Hollywood Hogwash. We just reviewed Spider Man 2. Right. It was fun. Uh, follow the show on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Wrong Wrestling. Get a t shirt or hat at prowrestlingtees.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. You can get this one, which was made. In the year 2016, and is still relevant. Wow! To this day, even more relevant. It's true. Because it's a three-year title run. Kick out, spear, pin, repeat. Oh my God! It's never been more relevant. It was the first shirt, wasn't it? Yes. Outside the Bunny Boys, yes. maybe. Yeah. Become a supporter of the show at Patreon.com/slash What's Wrong with Wrestling. Weekly AEW recaps, a fuck ton of bonus podcasts, brackets, everything. Go check it out. And we'll see you guys next time. Boom. What's wrong with wrestling?